What's the deal, YouTube? What's the deal? This is the big face trucker coming at you. Uh, I ain't did no video since I've been up here running around up here in New York. And uh, I don't really like to do videos when I'm up here. Because you got to stay focused. Well, right now, I'm on Long Island out here in Culverton. Uh, just dropped the load. And uh, the plans was to be back at the house for Thanksgiving. Don't look like it's going that way. I don't think, nah, I don't think it's going to go that way. So I'll be at the house up here. And uh, keep it going. That's all. Just keep it going. So what's popping out there? I don't know. I guess that YouTube bullshit is still going on or something like that. I'm glad I'm not up in it. I don't get in that shit. That's that back and forth shit. Motherfuckers need to just meet up and shit and put the gloves on. <laughs> Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? And then you ain't got to do all of that shit. You want to impress your fucking, your crowd and shit. How much fucking wolf tickets you can fucking kick out your fucking trap. <laughs> you know what I mean? You try to talk shit and sound the fucking toughest and the hardest. Like you gonna get out there and fucking beat a motherfucker down over on a video and shit. You know? It's all good, yo. It's all good. I ain't in that shit. I'm just chilling. Pissed off. I've been running in Florida and being home every other day and shit. Come up with this motherfucker. Been up here two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks, three weeks. Decided to be three weeks. Decided to be yeah, big three weeks yet. Yeah. Three weeks. Ain't fucking nothing changed. You know? Ain't nothing fucking changed. Got hit with a fucking tow bill. And got hit with a toll. With the tolls up here and shit. Don't let me go into like dispatch. Oh man. Motherfucker be better off by myself, yo. That's how I feel. And what's the shit? I just can't stand that I gotta pull some load, somebody else's shit on my trailer, and gotta pay them motherfuckers to take the shit off. You want the shit, it's your shit, take the shit off. Oh, the guy was telling me here at this low, he's like, oh, I keep telling them don't stack it so high. They stack it so high. So you charge $100 to take that shit off. All right. Yeah, because we got to take it down and we got to stack it, but so high. So you charge $100 for your shit to come off and then you got to stack it and stock it. Some bullshit right there. That's some hustling gangster ass, lumper ass fucking bullshit, gangster shit in trucking that fucks with the drivers or fucks with the owner operators out here, or fucks with the company. You know what I'm saying? Any way to fucking get money from a from from this moving freight shit type shit. Lumpers, brokers, gangsters, pranksters, bullshit artists, liars. <sighs> Motherfuckers, you know, that's how it is. You know, who came up with this lump of shit? You own a fucking building. You got to, you stock shit up in there. Trucks pull up in here. Take your shit off the truck. You need that shit to make money. Don't, you know, fuck around. And, ah, I need money to take shit off your truck, which is my shit. You know. Lumper. And the only reason why I'm tripping, and you'll be you'll laugh at this. The only reason why I'm tripping, yeah, the broker pays for it, 
but I get charged five fucking dollars every time this shit goes down. You know what I'm saying? Five dollars, yo. That's how, that's how fucking anal I am about my fucking money. All right, five dollars. Five dollars. I could do a lot with fucking five dollars. Like save that motherfucker. <laughs> that's what I do with five dollars. So that's what's up. You know, it's ten twenty six. Ten twenty six. I don't have a load yet. Should I be looking for loads? Yeah. Because if I find the fucking load, it ain't going to be, it's going to be good for me. It ain't going to be good for no dispatchers. <laughs> if I find a fucking load. But it's all good. I'm going to, uh, like I said, in a long time ago, long time, let me see what's going on, long time ago, boy, when it gets like this shit, I just go haywire, and then when I go haywire, that means I cut everybody out that I have to cut out, and that's what I do, and, and take control, fully control, bring the business back to this point, then say, okay, uh, you ready to do something, dispatcher, you ready? You feeling better this time? Yeah, yeah, I'm a little upset with that shit, but it's all good. I know what I got to do. I know exactly what I got to do. When am I going to do it? <laughs> Soon come, as they say in Jamaica, soon come, <laughs> soon come, Rasta. So I'm just relaxing right now. I had a, I didn't sleep too well last night. Goddamn reefers. Nah, I ain't gonna blame it on the reefer. I just didn't sleep good. Thinking about running up here, being away to sacrifice, away from the family and all that. And an extra what, six hundred dollars maybe, more than when I was doing my thing with Florida and Georgia. Come up here, sit and shit. Nah, and that's my journey for these last two weeks and a half. I'm going to play the role all the way to Monday. See what happens. Look at the numbers. Check it out. If I ain't happy about it, I'm going to make my decision. That's when it's going to be done on Monday. I made a mistake, I think, but we're going to see. And I'm going to let y'all know the mistake. But that's the deal. But, uh, yeah. I'm in this. Make sure this thing is, uh, focusing. I'm in this thing. Up here. I don't understand it. This is a food spot, right? I walk in the place, the place is filthy. They got food that's probably gets on some of your tables on our tables their food shit just out in the open lettuce and shit uh onions and shit out in the open this place can't be fucking sanitized man usually you go on the spot it's usually sanitized this spot got uh they also have another section that's freezes so i figured when they make it cold like that, it kills the germs, all right? Where I was at, it wasn't no freezer. It's just outside. So, 
that's what's up. Keeping it safe out here. Uh, running. I do miss home. Uh, when I get back down there, I got some things in the mail that I got to uh, take care of. Trucking. And uh, that's about it. You know, that's about it. Well, yeah, I'm just checking in, just hollering, a little rant right there. Uh, I seen a dude put a video up about New York. He down in the projects. I think it's up in the Bronx or somewhere. Bronx, or, man, I think it's Bronx, probably the Bronx. Because the reason why I say it Bronx, because you could, you could, you could almost tell. Some cats, if they from the Bronx, you know, you could tell. And uh, why would you glorify the fucking hood? You know what I'm saying? I would never put where I came from. I'll never go back to that spot. Mm -hmm. All right? Never go back to that spot. I wouldn't even take my children back there. No, so this is where I was raised up. Fuck that. You know? Left that motherfucker... What? 30, 30 years ago, probably? That left? 30? Maybe more than that. Shit. Left that spot. And didn't go back. You know? Leave the motherfucking hood where the hood is. I ain't making enough money to go back to make it better. So, it is what it is, living the gorgeous life down in Atlanta, you know, living like a king. You doing trucking, right? You doing trucking. If you doing trucking and making money out here, what the fuck are you doing up in the motherfucking hood living? <laughs> that don't make no motherfucking sense to me, but, uh. Some cats just love it, but it don't make sense to me. That's my opinion. Ain't no way in fucking hell I'm going back to the motherfucking projects and roaches, rats, garbage, and bullshit all over the fucking place and call that my motherfucking building, my motherfucking home. Fuck no. It's crazy. Crazy what motherfuckers do on YouTube, man. Just to get the fucking views. It's crazy. Just to get views and shit. I want to be a YouTube star. I want to talk shit and talk be hard. I want to be the man. I got some nice cars, but I live in the, in the fucking hood. <laughs> I drive a brand new truck that ain't even mine. But I'm an owner operator. Yeah. What the fuck is living a fucking dream, I guess? Nah. Fantasy. I'm just ranting, killing some time. I'm about to look on the deck. See what I could pick. Go get me a load. Get across this goddamn bridge. And I might stay across the bridge. And uh, start working my way to the south. You know? But yo, big face trucker up out of here. I'm going to holler at y'all. Y'all hold it down. You know what it is. Speaking from the heart and writing with the left. Peace.